Hey guys, Danny here. Um, as most of you know, I have a PS3 now, and what came out last week, Tuesday, and I've been playing it like nonstop. It came out last Tuesday, which was March the 9th. And for all you game fanatics, especially people that follow this series since Nintendo released it, already know how epic this game is. And I've been following it ever since I was 10 years old. And my first game um, was um, number 10 of the series, but let me just get to the game, actually. The game is, yeah, I don't know if you guys can see that with the glare, but yeah, Final Fantasy 13. I, yeah, like, this game's, I, I, of course I don't have the CD in it, it's in my PS3, but yeah, this game, this, this game's incredible, like, I thought this game, like with the new battle system, that it actually would be incredibly terrible. But this game is extremely fun. I have Final Fantasy 12. I don't really like Final Fantasy 12 because the battle system is so confusing. I have Final Fantasy 10, Final Fantasy 10 2, and Final Fantasy 7 um, Dirt of Sabiris. And I downloaded Final Fantasy 7 on the PS3, um, yeah. But, uh, man, whoever's a fan of Final Fantasy needs to get Final Fantasy 13. Now, I saw the review on IGN and GameSpot, and they all gave this an 8.9. Um, but, um, the thing where it really sh shines on is the PlayStation 3. Um, I've heard um, two of my friends saying that the graphics aren't that great on the 360, but it's a good game nonetheless. Um, so if you have a 360, pick it up. Because I bought this game for $80, because um, the original retail price was $69.99, but they gave me money back because they dropped it from 59 I mean 69 to 59 So... Yeah, pick this game up. This is an incredible game. You need to buy it. Like, if you're fans of the series, you will love, I mean, love this game. Alright, so let me talk a little bit about the gameplay. Um, the gameplay, for most parts, is extremely linear. And that, I think, ticked off a lot of people at first. But then after when they found out that this game is still enjoyable, even though it is straightforward and you can't really branch off it is still fun. I, I find it still fun because it's still, you can still explore and you can just look at the graphics to see how great the game is. Now, for the first three chapters, it's fairly easy and then when you get to the fourth chapter, everything starts picking up and get cha gets challenging and that really got me angry. Um, I'm not going to spoil anything, but like um, choose your paradigms wisely, like, there's some points where you have to change from one paradigm to the next on the fly without thinking, you just have to know, okay, after I do this, I have to change paradigms, make one of my characters a medic, I say a scavenger or a commando, and then just go, so it's like, even though people say, oh, this game's a but button masher, it isn't. It's it's an extremely hard game. I'm frustrated at where I am right now. Um, for the story, basically the story is, um, from what I heard, is you have to save the planet of Cocoon somehow from um, invading Pulse. I don't think that is the story because... It says at the back of the game, but I think that's the artificial front of the story. What I'm getting is you have been turned into a Lassie by the Falsy, and you're trying to complete your focus, but you don't know what your focus is. A focus is basically your mission that you've been given by the Falsy in the form of dreams. But you, nobody tells you what your focus is. You have to like figure it out on your own. That's what I think the story is. When I complete the game, then I'll do an overall review. Um, 
music um the music that I really like in the game is um it's not really memorable like Final Fantasy 7 or Final Fantasy 10 but the music the battle music I really like the battle music a lot because I I I just like the music hold on yeah so I, I don't know if you guys saw that the camera went all shitty but yeah the music is like incredible I love the music a lot um expecting the battle and they took away the original Final Fantasy fanfare and made it their own just like what they did with Final Fantasy Ted 2 but it works for it, it works so okay so my rating for the game would be a 20 out of 10 because I really like Final Fantasy I really like this series if you guys are a big fan of the Final Fantasy series you have to pick this game up this game is incredible pick it up you will love it um, without a doubt for you Final Fantasy fans that's been following the series and even they, this is not even really a series because you don't have to play the other 12 to get it to 13 because all this all the other games are like standalone adventures so pick up Final Fantasy 13 it's for the PlayStation 3 and Xbox 360 for uh, the retail value of $59.99 it, just get the game it's incredible you'll love it and that's all I have to say for the game now I'll do another review or even my brother will still be playing it probably when I go on vacation tomorrow but yeah so that's my review for Final Fantasy 13 pick up the game it's incredible daddy out peace out Toronto's finest nigga